Okay, so now we're ready to begin reinstalling all of the parts. First thing I like to start with is the springs and the, uh, the main wheel. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put this back on here. Remember how much trouble we had getting it off? <laughs> You're going to have just as much fun trying to get it back on. Okay, well, that wasn't too bad. And oop, I found the hole. And then we're going to go to the next one. See if I can get just as lucky over here. Oop, nope. Ah, there we go. Okay. So now. Whew, now the fun begins trying to piece this all back together here. Now, luckily, I know what all of these parts do, or else I would be in a lot of trouble right about now. now I do know that goes there, and I remember that this kind of. It, 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 yeah. I'll figure it out. I always do. God, I sound like an amateur. Anyway, then we need this one, which goes here. And then this one, which goes upside down. And goes like that. Move that out of the way first. There we go. Okay, now the next one that would go in would be the escapement gear, but I'm not going to put that in yet. That's one of the last ones we're going to put in. Now, if I gotta, I gotta try to remember here. Well, this obviously goes here. Okay. Right. And this one goes on top. Right? Yes. Okay. I am right. For once. Now I need this, and this, and this. Everything else can stay in there for right now. Okay, we can put this back on here. Alright, and that. Now, reassembling these, again, you have to really pay attention. So, I'm just going to stop the camera real quick and get it in my hand. Okay, so what I was doing there is this, um, this bottom arm here. It always goes against the center shaft arbor, okay? It doesn't, the center shaft arbor doesn't go between it. It goes against, or it, this is... It, yeah, <laughs> I think you see what I'm trying to say here, but anyway, yeah, that goes on there, and then this one here goes on top, like that, let me zoom out a little, okay, so now I need this one, this might be fun, actually, let me take that one out for a sec, because I gotta put this one in, oh, got it, okay, good, first try, I like that. Now, that, and now you got to pay attention here. This goes in that slot, okay? And almost all eight day movements work that way. And even a lot, well, actually, uh, a lot of one day movements, American one day movements work that way as well. And let me see, did I forget? Right here. We'll just take that off. Trying to do all this one-handed is mildly challenging. I kind of like it. Okay, and then that goes on top like that. Okay. And then this goes up in here. This could be... There we go. Okay. Now, the other thing that matters but we're not going to be able to adjust it until we get everything 
placed where it belongs is where that hammer hits those um, hits this gear here with the pegs sticking out of it but the next step is reassembling so let's go ahead and put the camera back okay, so now the tricky part begins this is the tedious part this is actually the honestly the worst part of getting a movement fixed and rehabilitated if you will is the reassembly of the two plates once the gears are in place now remember that this gear came up through here we got to be very careful okay. you know that's another one I didn't oh no that one's that one's good that one's good okay and we'll just kind of let that sit there now we're going to take that through there. This has got to come down. Now i got to try to get the winding arbor through the hole. Okay, we're well on our way here. Now what I'm going to do is move this over slightly. And I'm going to attempt to reposition the camera. Okay, maybe this is a little bit of a better view here. So anyway, now what I'm attempting to do here, and I'm not so sure if I can illustrate this or not, uh, let me see if I can get this. Oh, here we go. Okay, excellent. That's perfect. Now let me move my big hand out of the way. I gotta get this past there. find the, the other pivot hole on the back here, which could be challenging, mainly because I can't see. Don't, don't mind the, the huge, the huge light. Okay, I see where it's got to go. So I got to pull this gear. Okay, there. And then down. Okay. Right, that's one of the tedious parts out of the way. Go back out. Now, what I like to do is I like to assemble from the bottom up. Um, but first, I have to get this spring for the hammer hooked back around like that. Please don't snap across the room. That would really annoy me. Okay. So, I'm just going to have to hold that there, I guess. Okay, well, actually, I'm just going to have to let that do whatever it's going to do, which is that. Okay, there. Now, This is this is a lot of fun. Okay, now mm, mm, mm. getting everything to line back up again can be such a chore. But anyway, one of the things that I like to do is to get some of the screws. I'm just gonna dump all this out here. And I like to put one of the screws in the bottom. Snug that one up. Get this next one moved over and through like that. Okay. Put this next screw in. Okay. Snug that down. Now that gives me a point to start from. So now. What is going on here? Oh, that's that's interesting. Um, 
I'm not really sure why that's stuck there like that. Oh, I see. Okay, I actually need to reposition this. Okay, I actually need to turn this gear. So that hammer, I think, is going to come out again. But anyway, what I'm attempting to do here is actually go the wrong freaking way. There. This is very tedious, just take your time with it. Things will fall into place. Okay, that, that's pretty free there. And then... I think I got it. Now I'm gonna turn this so that this is gonna line up. Okay. Now, start fiddling the gears around to get them in their pivot holes. Easy way is with a screwdriver here. They actually make a tool for this, and I almost bought one, but I kind of talked myself out of it. And I'm actually okay that I did. holding me up here and I've got to figure out what it is. What is it? This gear? No. It's not that. Maybe... You can kind of feel around and see where things are actually supposed to go. <sighs> Come on now. There we go. That's our bushing. And I spin it around from time to time, and I've just got to make sure things are going to line up. This I have to lift a little bit. i got to find it again. Okay, there. Thank goodness for hearing. Oh, 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 almost. We're almost there. Almost home. Okay, there's that. This came out again. Thanks so much for cooperating. And I do believe everything is in its perspective pivot level. However, I do believe there is a problem. Not quite sure yet. It's hard to tell as of yet. But I do believe. Well, Oh, I see it. Okay, I see. I see it. Do I? I don't know what I see right now. Is it possible that I... No. No. Oh, I see what's going on here. Something popped out. I heard it. Or maybe it's just me. Nope, it's just me. Okay. These older movements, they sometimes are tricky to get everything to line back up. There we go. I do believe... There. Okay, that moves pretty freely. I think. Okay. Now, I 
I'm going to need this. <clears throat> I can already tell that. A little grippy tool, which is now bent for some reason. That's not cool. Not entirely sure what happened there. Toughest one right there. Drive that one home. We'll tighten up these bottom ones here. Okay. You should always use a screwdriver that fits. Kind of like this one. There's actually one more yet. Oop. This is the one that honestly scares me a little bit. I think I can get that to go. There we go. Like that, and then one more for the center. Right. Alright, I do believe we are in business. Now, I could be wrong, but let's just check anyway. Okay. Now, which way? So, we wind it this way, so it's going to turn this way. believe it everything lines up okay nerve-wracking so anyway we're good to go now I just need to just make sure that everything has room here I just hope that's not too tight I don't think it is okay so now that I'm in this phase, I'm going to go ahead and lubricate this. 